Hi, I'm Kinkas and I'm a Synth DIY guy. Welcome to your channel for modular synthesizers, DIY and new technologies. You might have seen my previous video on the Microtune by Tubutech, which is a microtonal multi-tool. It's got a million things that it can do, it has DIN MIDI I.O., an SD card, USB connection, and you can expand it with these expanders. On the previous video, I only had one expander, but since then, Toby from Tubutech has sent me two more expanders, as well as his brand new USB module, which is called the MIDI USB Bridge A. We've also been discussing ways in which to make the Microtune more MPE friendly. That yielded a brand new update for the Microtune that includes a quick MPE setup as well as smoothing on the outputs for pressure, aftertouch and CC controls. So the updates plus the USB bridge combined make this absolutely perfect to use with my instrument because now I can power my instrument and convert to the MIDI via USB. So I'm actually patching inside the modular again. You might have seen me do this on my Lich video where I connected the VCMC to the Lich via USB. Well, now I'm connecting the USB bridge to the microtone with a tiny little USB cable here. I could have also used MIDI. There is TRS MIDI IO on the USB bridge module, but that would have required me using one of those adapters, which would make it more bulky than the USB cable turned out to be. So I'm using it like that. And what I've done here is I've set up a four voice MPE patch. As you can see over here, there's even a thank you to me <laughs> on the about page. It says, thanks to Kinkas. Moreira for MPE testing videos and ideas. Thank you very much, Toby, for making this perfect to use with my MPE stuff. So let's have a look. Right now, as you can see, I have now three expanders connected. So I've maxed mine out to the eight voices, which means I can now do a four voice MPE patch with channel pressure. So you can now see on the screen, all eight of my voices show up, right? Now let's go over here to tool and the new tool is the MPE setup. So when I click on there, mine's already set up, but you can set up how many voices you wanna have, the MIDI channel start, and what you want to output as extra beyond just pitch and gate, and I've chosen channel pressure. The gate outputs are outputting MIDI clock. So now I click on setup MPE, and that has created that setup for me. So I don't have to go into every channel anymore and manually set up the first four channels to receive MIDI pitch and gate from MIDI channels one through four and so on and so forth. And then the expanders two and three outputting channel pressure data for each one of those four channels. This does it automatically for me and makes it much easier to set up. So let's hear what we've got going on here. Here's one voice, here's another voice, here's another voice, and here's another voice. Each voice is an analog oscillator going into a wave folder. I've now got four wave folding channels, two in the chopping kinky, one in the over folder, and one in the Duranalog fold six. The oscillators I'm using are the two even VCOs, the Erica Synth Black VCO2, and the Electrosmith Analog VCO 3340. And as you can see, it's working perfectly. I can hold this note, play this note, and the pressure I apply will only affect the folding on each one of these. And Toby also implemented smoothing because before these sounded very stepped. The pressure data sounded very stepped and now it sounds very smooth, very fluid. So I'm really excited because this made it perfect for me to experiment with four voice micro tonality, right? I can do the pitch shift. Oh, I have to enable pitch shift here. And I've set it up to be plus or minus 12 semitones. So, so yeah, so you can do pitch bend individually per voice. Right? And right now we're in 12 tet. 12 tone equal temperament, which is the standard for Western music. Of 
course we can just go back to the main menu here, go to tune and choose a different kind of tuning. So why don't we go in here to the Savish folder and choose a regular temperament. I like that 15 Tet Blackwold, but maybe let's go to something like a 33. Here's Madagascar Tempering, it's called, of 98, 15, 13, and 13, 1. Those are the ratios. So let's click on that and hear what this scale sounds like. <laughs> Nice. Here's the octave. Right there. Interesting scale. Of course, I'd need to study it up to really learn how to actually use its intervals correctly in a musical way, not just randomly like I'm doing right now. Maybe we should choose something in JI, which will be probably easier to sound uh, euphonic and beautiful. So, well, here's some world scales too. Indonesian scales, Thai scales, Scottish bagpipe scale. Here's a Turkish makam quite a few Macedonian bagpipe so these are ethnic skills which are nice let's choose one of those Turkish skills the Makam Buselik wow that immediately instantly sounds Middle Eastern doesn't it Sounds really nice. Finding this timbre to be a little bit strident. Let's bring down these folders a bit. can also make my uh, pressure sensitivity be a little bit lower, lower pressure sensitivity. That'll require me to push harder to open up the folders, which one is this one? Ah, it's the over folder, let's bring that down a bit. There you go. Now, about the USB module, basically what it does is it routes and merges MIDI data between two USB devices and one TRS MIDI device. And the setup is very simple. It's just how you use the inputs and outputs determines what's going to happen. And that's labeled on the panel right here. So if you go into USB 1 and 2, you will get those two merged into the TRS output. If you use USB in 1 and TRS in, you get those two merged out of USB output 2. And finally, USB in 2 and TRS input will give you a merged output out of USB out 1. 
right? And now what I'm doing, I'm simply using one USB as an input, which is also powering my instrument, and the other one as an output, right? So that works too. You won't be merging MIDI data. You're just using one USB as an input and the other one as an output, which is going into the microtune over there. So it's a super useful module to have. It's also very small. It's just 2 HP. Just a nice thing to have in your modular setup. <laughs> Let's maybe choose a different scale. This one is a little bit too close to home, too familiar, perhaps. Let's try a Thai scale, Thai Renat. There we go. Here's the octave. The octave is where a fifth would be in 12 tet. fun to discover new scales. Let's load a different scale again. This time we'll go to the scale archive. So instead of the Savish folder, Higgins Fucker. Let's choose a just intonation scale. There's a whole JI folder here. Here's 21 tone just scale. Bring it down the octave. One more. One more. Oh, and here's one thing that I like to do to set up the pitch bend range so that it works as well as possible. First, I find how many steps are an octave. Here's the octave. So that's quite far. How many semitones is that? Up to here would be 12, right? And then we have an additional one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So that's 12 plus nine, that's 21, right? So what we'll do here, we'll choose the 24, and as you hold it, it lets you edit. And we can change this to 21. And let's see if that works. Yep, kind of matches, right? So that makes the glides and slides more accurate. You can just change it on the instrument itself, depending on which scale you've loaded and how many notes it has per octave. That of course will work as long as the microtune itself is set to plus and minus 12 semitones, right? Because that's what it's expecting for 12 tet. I actually like this scale, it's very nice. Mm. 
loving the smoothing. <laughs> and it's interesting how the same shape in 12 tet will always sound the same, right? Except transposed. But here, each position will give you a completely different sound. So that's it. Today's video was just going to be a shorty. Just to show you folks how excited I am about this really wonderful new update for the Microtune. How cool it is to have it maxed out with three expanders, each one having two voices, giving you a total of either four voices MPE or eight voices of just CV and gate. And the smoothing is absolutely wonderful. And it was a needed and necessary update that Toby has made. And also the MIDI USB bridge A module is just the icing on the cake to make everything integrated and self-powered. That's it for today. If you liked the video, please hit like, subscribe, join my Patreon. I'll see you soon and stay noisy. Mm -hmm.